Hey guys, it's Jordan from Alter Element Games and today I'm going to talk about the Nintendo Direct. I'm going to make a really short video on the actual full press and release and trailers that were announced during Nintendo Direct. So let's get started. First of all, the new Nintendo 3DS uh, XLs will not include the AC adapters. So for people who have the 3DS, like myself here, uh, can keep their chargers and then it's easily upgradable to the next, you know, 3DS. That makes it a lot easier, it's cost efficient, and it's just cutting down the price, hopefully significantly. Um, the new Nintendo Amiibos are compatible with newer games like Mario Party 10, let's see right here, Steam, codename Steam, uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, and the new Yoshi's game because I really don't have that title full in mind. But uh, make sure that if you haven't used your Amiibo yet, or if you do have an Amiibo and you use it for another game, remember that the memory in the game, or in the Amiibo, is can be erased by playing another game with it. So remi remember that, that's the key factor with these Amiibos. Uh, it's only one game per amiibo. If you use it on another game, then all the memory. So let's say like you trained it in Super Smash Brothers Wii U, and then you use it in Mario Party 10. It's gonna delete that training, and then just gonna reset and delete everything, and then be prepared and have new memory for Mario Party 10. So remember that. Uh, also, there's news about the new Majora's Mask 3DS coming out. That's it's been completely sold out from GameStop sites uh, due to pre-order, and that's that's just a brand new update. Like this thing went fast. I might have a picture up here showing the actual 3DS. It has like the purple lavender feel, and it looks really awesome with the emblem in front of it. Tekken's director, uh, I don't know how to say his name. I'm not gonna mess it up. But the t uh, the, the director of Tekken 7 is making a new free-to-play game that's four-player co-op and it's exclusively for the Wii U and it's currently called Project Treasure. And uh, we saw like a small tidbit of like characters and there's a black man in there, you know, black main character. Hopefully he's not the villain, hopefully he's important. And um, the, uh, the, that's all we see. It's called Project Treasure. We get a little... Uh, description about the game we see a screenshot of the characters mouth like their their little expressions their faces and then that that's it it's 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 gone other news for amiibo the uh, the ever so rare Marth amiibos are not coming back in full force in later on this year in 2015 so uh, these scalpers can stop doubling the price and selling them on eBay they finally listened to our demand, so they're finally going to supply us ba basic, basic economics here. So that's good news. And then here are the, um, let's go ahead, I'm saying I'm too much. But here are the releases for the Nintendo Wii U and for the 3DS. Ace Combat, Assault Horizon, if you hear that background noise, that's the door. Uh, Monster Hunter uh, Ultimate 4, Rhythm Heaven. Harvest Moon Story of Seasons. I haven't really played Harvest Moon yet, but I do want to try it out. I heard it's good. It's interesting. It's a game that you can play forever. Um, Eternian Mystery Dungeons. Uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. That's kind of like throwing it back to the old 80s where they had Pauline instead of Princess Peach. You know, some of you 2000 kids don't know about that. Iron Fall Invasion. Um, Fossil Fighters. Frontier, that's kind of like a mix between uh, Spectros and like Digimon. Uh, Splatoon, that's coming out in the launch of May. Uh, it's on the uh, article for Polygon, so go ahead and check that out. I have it in the description below. And Sp Splatoon looks interesting. It kind of looks like a, a thing between uh, Snowboard Kids and the Tony Hawk uh, Graffiti uh, game mode that you play, where you do a trick and then the ramp or the pool or the rail will turn to your color on your team and you whoever has the highest points for that specific item or ramp they'll change to their color and that's pretty dope that's pretty interesting Mario Party 10 is coming out I haven't played a really good one since like 2 or 3 the Millennium Star one and uh, the new Fire Emblem and the new Fire Emblem looks pretty interesting you know it has uh, feudal Japan and like Roman uh, 
Spartans in it, so it's like a good mix of um, Samurai versus Spartans or Shoguns versus Spartans. Just, uh, that theme is really awesome, so go ahead and um, check that out. And uh, that's it for my video today. Um, I'm going to have a, the link in the description below for Polygon, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Cafe LA, I'm out of here. Peace, peace. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.